Today's video is brought to you by Aniba.com. Aniba.com is a digital marketplace with over 20,000 digital products. And with an ever expanding library, it's the go to point for all your gaming needs. Aniba will bring you the hottest deals on titles, new or old. And with an excellent Trustpilot score, you can buy with confidence. So whether you play on Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox or PC, there's sure to be something that suits your needs. Navigation on the website is easy. Search via operating system, game genre or region. You can even create your own wish list and grab those deals at a later time. Neba are here to help with activation issues, payment, product delivery and any other issues should the need arise with their 24-7 live support. So save some money and grab a great deal with Aniba.com. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'll be showing off the final piece to my dual streaming and capture PC setup. So I'm using the Ava Media Live Gamer Ultra 2.1 portable capture card or external capture card should I say. It has a 4K 144 hertz pass through and it can capture up to 4K 60 FPS. It also supports variable refresh rate. Now the significance of this is you can now use your PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X at 120 hertz on your display while capturing before due to the HDMI 2.0 uh, limitations. 4K 60 pass through was about as far as you could go and there was no VRR support. That's all changed now. This is how it looks while it's on my desk. Just a really, really small device. HDMI 2.1 cable coming from my RTX 30 4090 and then another HDMI 2.1 cable going straight out to my Samsung S95B um, OLED screen. So I'm gonna show you a quick pop-up menu on my Samsung device. So it shows you that it's using 144 FPS and variable refresh rate is on. What I'm gonna do is demonstrate that the variable refresh rate does actually work. So I've just popped up the Nvidia Pendulum G-Sync demo. And what you're going to see in a moment is the FPS fluctuate up and down as the demo is fluctuating the FPS from the demo. The screen up also changes the refresh rate actively. So this is just me showing you that the variable refresh rate through the capture card does actually work. And um, this is something that has only been possible with HDMI 2.1. So I'm just going to show you the, the capture PC I'm using. This is my main PC with my RTX 4090 i9 3900K, fully water cooled with 32 gigabytes of DDR5. And my capture PC is the RX 7600 graphics card with the Ryzen 9 7900X3D and the Asus X370E Hero with 32 gigabytes of DDR5 running at 6400 megahertz. So a um, very, very good capture PC. Uh, maybe a little bit overkill, but I didn't want to spare any expense. For the microphone, as you can see, I'm using my Blue Yeti USB condenser microphone. This is on a boom arm and a shock mount, so there shouldn't really be any vibrations from my desk. And uh, it really does a great job. I'm just going to go straight into my settings now so you guys can see how I'm actually running the actual device. You can see here that the current information shows you exactly what you're receiving. So playing, receiving a 3840 by 2160 signal at 144 Hertz, 10 bit color. And you can control the audio levels from here. Because I'm not using the headphone jack that's grayed out. You can also have um, a lining cable directly into the um, gamepad section. I think that's for like the party chat. Control the RGB here as well. I've got it on wave at the moment. And of course you can update the firmware and the software from here. Apparently there's a firmware update coming in November sometime. And also sometime in 2024, um, Ava Media would also be making their own um, software. So you don't have to use OBS, they'll have their own Intel in-house software, which is currently Rec Central, but the current Rec Central isn't compatible with uh, this device at least. Now I'm just gonna quickly show you my OBS settings as well. So of course I use this for streaming and I also use it for recording. So I'll show you my streaming settings first. That's probably the more popular one. So I'm streaming um, to YouTube mainly 
and I'm using the RTM PS. This allows you to use AV1. So I'm using the AV1 codec on my AMD RX 7600 at 1440p at 12.5 megabytes per second. Balance preset. Um, for my recording, I'm using the X264 codec. That's literally just using the CPU. And I am recording at 150 megabytes per second at a constant bit rate. And the CPU preset is very fast with a profile at baseline. And that's pretty much it in terms of, of the settings. Very simple to use with OBS. So what I'm going to do now is just show you guys some quality of the recording. And uh, I'll leave it there. You're good. You're good. You're good. And stop. See you around. Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. Let's go. Thanks for the ride. We'll meet again. <sighs> this is a new one.
So that was just a quick look at the Ava Media Live Gamer Ultra 2.1 capture card. Does a great job, um, very simple to use and definitely something I've been looking forward to for a very long time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.